Hello and welcome to my video about why musicians in movies actually sound bad and how to tell. It's widely known among professional musicians that most movies and TV that have a musician playing in it usually are overdubbed by a professional. Since we spend hours a day focusing on the tiny details of playing our instruments, we can tell very quickly when someone has no idea what they're doing. Now, this being said, there's lots of movies out there, especially recently, that have been made about classical musicians where the actors will spend months or even years taking lessons on the instruments that they're playing for their roles, and the producers are very good at actually cutting out their playing when it looks bad and putting in the hands of professionals. But a lot of the times with just some TV, like TV shows, you're gonna get an actor who's very, very clearly a novice. A lot of times, Scenes like this make us musicians just absolutely cringe, and while we hate to watch them, we also love to watch them. So today what I'm going to do is I want to take a notorious scene from the TV show Pretty Little Liars and overdub what the actress who's playing the violin would actually sound like, and I'm going to show you back to back the final scene, which is very powerful with the music playing in the background, with the scene with the real music playing in the background. Major disclaimer, this is no hate to actors and actresses who have to do this kind of stuff. Um, no one expects you to be perfect, and for 99% of viewers, no one's going to be able to tell, and you did a great job. But for us, very select few, we notice, and it's, it's funny, so let's get into it. First Hannah, and now Emily? Don't say it like that. Like what? like one of us is next. Tell me about Shauna. There's not that much to tell, really. I saw her in that town, and then she jumped in Jenna's car, and she drove away. We tried to follow her, but we lost her. No, you didn't. I'm going to break it down into three major factors. First is posture, second is right hand or the bow arm, third is left hand or the fingering hand. The first way that I can tell that this girl who's playing is an absolute beginner is from her posture. Posture is just the easiest way to tell right off the bat. So it all starts from her lower back. So instead of playing normally, relaxed, lots of freedom. What she's doing instead is arching her lower back like this. When you arch your lower back like this, what happens to the instrument? Instead of being in front of your body with a lot of open motion here, when you arch your back, it brings the whole chassis of the instrument out this way. And that also is making her neck go like this. And if you can tell, when my neck goes to meet my instrument this way, we get a lot of tension on this side of the neck. All of that leads to really restrictive and tight playing. So instead of a nice open sound, we get some closed sound. So her bow hand actually is pretty good. In general, with the bow, we want nice round fingers here, and a lot of flexibility. This really allows the bow to move and to move freely across the strings. With the girl in the video, she does have a nice curved look to her hand, but she does have a lot of tightness in the hand. The other thing we're seeing in her bow arm is a lot of rigidity 
in the flow of this arm. So usually we want a nice loose flow. The wrist follows the hand, the hand follows the wrist, but what we've got going on is a lot of very square movements from her, which tells me very clearly that there's not really going to be a good sound. Last of all, what you can really see is that her contact point is all over the place. That's going to happen when you have a tight bow arm. So here we have a loose bow arm. And here's what we see in the video. So the last thing that I can see is what her left hand looks like. The hand that makes the notes. So in typical violin technique what we want is we want some really nice upright fingers and we want them to drop from above onto the fingerboard and we want them to drop with speed and precision and what I'm seeing with her is this kind of setup. This happens with a lot of beginners when they don't have enough strength in their arm or shoulder or they don't really understand the balance of the instrument yet so they end up holding it up with their wrist. I call it pizza wrist because it looks like you're serving a pizza. So she's doing pizza wrist and when we do pizza wrist it causes the fingers to be landing flat on the instrument which makes a very bad sound versus upright. First Hannah and now Emily. Don't say it like that. Like what? Like one of us is next. Tell me about Shauna. There's not that much to tell, really. I saw her in that town and then she jumped in Jenna's car and she drove away. We tried to follow her, but we lost her. No, you didn't. <laughs>